Hello friends, today we will learn how to convert a simple looking element to form into this beautiful looking form using just CSS. Hi, this is Anand from designtheway.com. Excited to learn? Let's get right into it. So I'm in the contact page. This is our contact form. I'm using the digital agency template. Basically, I've added a few fields over here. Remove all the styling from the form except for this button. Just to show you how to do this from scratch. Currently, the form has a few indifferent styling. If I click over here, it has a different style. If I click over here, it has a different style altogether. Same goes for this one and this one. So now what we'll do, we'll standardize the style and try to make this form more like a material design form where you have those beautiful radio buttons checkbox. So let's start styling our form. Let's click edit with Elementor. Let's select the form. Now let's go to style. I will change few settings over here. Let's increase the row gap to say 20. And the field. Let's uncheck this. I will just keep border bottom one pixel and the border color. Let's select the black color. Let's reduce the opacity. Let's keep it to 25. And let's set the border radius to 0. This is all there is to do in the settings. As you can see, we do not have any hover or on focus effect for these text fields nor do we have any option for this for these radio buttons and checkboxes for that we will use some CSS let's go to advanced let's click on custom CSS now first we will standardize our form fields like this input field and text area I will add the CSS first It's a bit hard to explain the CSS in the small area, but I, will, but I will try my best to explain it. What I'm doing over here, I'm using the selector and then adding this class, which is generated by element itself. I'll show you how to find this class. Then adding the focus pseudo class and I'm adding this additional class if you're using any selection drop down over here. Currently we do not have that in our form, but in case if you have, this, is, this CSS will work. We are setting the box shadow to none and the bottom bottom color to this particular color. I am using this hover color. Now let's update. Now let's preview the page. Let's click over here. As you can see, we have a beautiful border over here. Same goes for all the fields. Now let me explain. Let me show how I'm finding that particular this particular class over here. Let's right click, click on inspect. If you come down over here, you can see the elementary is auto populating this particular class. Now when we are using this particular selector, Elementor will automatically generate this class and all we need is to add this particular class. That's what I have done over here. Now let's click over here and click on focus. This 
this is our CSS. As I said, Elementor automatically adds this particular class and then we have added this class manually. Hope this makes sense. Let's click over here. Let's remove this. Let's close this. Now we need to remove the padding left and right to align it with this line. Let's get back to our editor. Let's click over here. I will add this CSS. As you can see, they are aligned to the left. I am using the selector class again and using this element of field textual class, which is again an element of class. Let's update and let's preview it. So, with those two little CSS, we actually styled our text field and text area. Now we'll style the radio buttons. Let's get back over here. Like other form elements like text field, text area, and select, we cannot target checkbox and radio buttons directly in CSS. For that, we need to use some CSS act and use some pseudo classes. Now, first, we'll make these radio buttons and checkboxes invisible. Let's click over here. I will add this CSS. This CSS is making these original checkboxes and radio buttons invisible. Note that we are not using the display none property. We are not actually hiding it. We are just making them invisible using the CSS combination of CSS clip path, overflow and position. Now if we want to target this radio button and checkbox, we have to give them a unique class. For that let's go to content. This is our radio button. Let's go to advanced. Here in the ID we can add a custom class. Even though it says ID, whatever we put over here, Elementor will auto generate a particular class. Let me show you what I mean. I will name this as empty underscore radio. Now let's update. Let's come back over here. Let's right click, click on inspect. Let's scroll up. If you see over here, Elementor automatically generated this Elementor field group empty radio class. So we can target this particular class. But one thing to keep in mind, if you have a multiple set of checkboxes or radio button, you need to add unique names for each set as mentioned over here. You cannot use same class in multiple sections. Now let's get back to advanced, custom CSS. Now we'll add this CSS for the radio button. Here we are targeting the before pseudo element for this level, which is placed inside a div immediately after this element of field group empty radio class. Basically in the CSS, we are setting a height and width of 15 pixel, adding a 2 pixel border. And then we are adding a transition for a smooth animation. Let's preview the changes. As you can see, we have created a false radio button over here. Now the next step is to make this radio buttons clickable. Currently they are not clickable. So now for that I will add few more CSS. Here am I adding a margin right to this level. Now we'll add couple more CSS. Now here in this CSS, I'm telling once I hover this level, 
the border color should change to this color and the next CSS I'm using the checked pseudo class now the checked pseudo class is only applicable for radio buttons and check boxes with checks for the as the name suggests for the check status so we are using this check pseudo class and telling to change the background color to this color and the border color to this blue color now let's update to see the effect let's refresh the page let's scroll down as you can see the hover is working now let's click yes it's working as you can see you have a beautiful radio button over here now the next step is to create something similar for this checkbox now similar to this radio button we'll go back to content and click on this newsletter where we have the checkbox let's go to advanced we'll add a unique id i will name it empty underscore checkbox let's get back to advanced custom css scroll down and add this css this CSS is very much similar to this CSS again targeting the before element of the label inside element of field group empty checkbox setting a height and width and a two pixel border now here again I am adding a one em margin right to the label and setting the position as relative and now will create a tick mark for a checkbox I will add this CSS for that here we are using the after pseudo element for this level setting the border top and right to 2 pixel and then using the transform to rotate it 135 degrees keeping the transform origin to left top and initially we are making it display none will make it visible only once we click on the checkbox now let's add a hover CSS similar to this radio button we are making the border color to this blue color once we hover on the checkbox now again we are using the check pseudo class to change the border color and background color let's update let's check how it looks right now let's refresh the page as you can see the hover is working if I click over here it's changing the color but instead we'll add an animated tick mark for that I will add this CSS now here I'm again using the check pseudo class First of all, making this tick that we created previously visible by using display block. Then I'm telling to run an animation called check for 8 seconds, for 0 0.8 seconds, and then setting the border color to white. Now the final step is to create this animation called check. Now here I'm creating a keyframe animation using just three steps 0%, 25% and 50% at 0% keeping the height and width to 0 at 25% setting the width to 6 pixel and at 50% setting the height to 11 pixel and keeping the width to 6 pixel just to create the thick animation now let's update the page and now let's see how it looks like scroll down as you can see we have a hover animation let's click over here yes we have a beautiful animation but perhaps we need to adjust the position of this tick mark let's right click click on inspect let's click on after Let's change the top position to 
I think this looks good. Let's set it to 11 pixels. Let's close down. Let's scroll up over here and I'll set this top to 11 pixels. Sorry, to 11 pixels. Now let's update again. Let's check. Yes, it's perfect. Let's check the radio buttons. Yes, they're working beautifully too. So with some CSS, we have transformed a basic looking Elementor form into this beautiful looking form. I will add the post link in the description below from where you can download all the CSS. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for your time. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.